All right, what's up, guys? Welcome back to some more EA Sports FC 24 career mode, Everton career mode. So the last episode was very interesting. We were denied a last-minute winner against Fulham uh, with uh, some bullshit. It looked like it went over the line, but it never ended up going over the line. And then we lost 7-1 to Spurs. But then we beat Fulham in the cup, and we're through to the next round anyway. So, yeah, we're playing Man City now. Uh, it's the first time I've had a hoodie on in about eight months, I would say. No, that's an exaggeration, but it's genuinely been a very long time since since I've had to put a hoodie on. Uh, it's actually cold in Ireland today. Very cold. It's got... What, t what temperature is it today? It's like... Uh, it's like nine degrees or something like that. But it just feels really cold. It's dreary. But anyway, Man City away to start the video. Not ideal, obviously. But we'll see what we can do here, all right? Everton have been um, linked with a move for Calvin Phillips in real life as well. So, of course, we'll scout him in the game here, uh, as I always do with real Everton targets as well. Um, but we did just sign Tyler Adams. So I don't think somehow we'll be signing Calvin Phillips. He's 28. Uh... But uh, I, I imagine he's around 81, 82 rated in this game. I'm not exactly sure. But anyway, let's uh, let's jump in. Let's do this thing. I'm excited for match day against Man City. I'm nervous about this one, though. We did just lose 7-1 to Spurs. And we have the possibility of doing something similar here with a team like Man City. I don't know who that guy at left back is. Baldy. What the hell? Is, who the hell is that? But the rest of the team looks pretty much how you'd expect it to. And it looks very scary, to be quite perfectly honest. It looks very scary. Hakimi and Bernardo Silva are the ones to watch, apparently. Um, but you could say that with any of the 11 players on the pitch. So let's do a little pre-match press, press conference here Thank for the City game. He needs to play games to get his form back. Come on, man. After the draw against Fulham in the original game, do you think your boys can go one better now in the replay? I just won the replay. <laughs> <laughs> this is the this is the next game, you idiots. Uh, it'll be another tough game, but we already won it, so you know what it is. We'll be positive. Yeah, get the team pumped up. Come on. Thank you very much. See you That's later, guys. Shit questions. By the way, if you want twenty percent off row. Uh, by the way, if you want 20% off Rogue Energy, you can get 20% off using my code, the Apex Sound. I'm actually drinking pink lemonade mixed with rainbow candy today. Just had a new batch come in for me yesterday with pink lemonade and rainbow candy. A second batch of rainbow candy because I need that stuff in my life because I'm running out of the other one. But anyway, let's jump into kickoff. Let's do this thing. Manchester City uh, at ho away from home, actually, at the Etihad. This is going to be a real big challenge here. Um, but Brantway's gone up to a 74, which is nice to see. Pickford's gone up to an 84, and Patterson's up to a 74 as well, so our players are improving nicely. Onana's a little bit tired, so I'm going to take him out. Uh, Ducore... Yeah, we can play Ducore there, I suppose. He has been playing there under Daesh. Um, so yeah, we can we can play Decor in the center attacking mid role, I suppose. I'm gonna play Willie G left mid, and we're gonna play Harrison right mid, and we'll go with that team there. I like the looks of it. Um, I think we definitely need like a new center attacking mid, and that's the problem that we saw with Dan Juma. I guess we can try and sign, uh, we can try and sign him a little bit later on down the line. It will probably have to be the summer now at this rate because the January transfer. Well, it will have to be the summer now at this rate after the season. Um, because we lost Dan Juma. Maybe we can even get him back on loan again or something with an option to buy. I should have maybe tried that, but I don't think you can do that. Like, get someone on loan immediately after they cancel the loan or something. I don't think they would have accepted it anyway. I could have tried for someone else on loan, though, is the thing. But anyway, the Etihad here. Our former player, John Stones, comes down the stairs. Money can't buy stones. Can't buy stones. He looks great in this game, actually. All right, let's do this thing. Good Lord, that mix is good, actually. The rainbow candy with the pink lemonade is fire. All right, Pep, let's have it, son. Let's have it, sunshine. Big game here. Tyler Adams is starting as well. Is he the captain? Oh, no, that's just the kick logo. I was like, why the hell is Tyler Adams the captain? Tarkovsky is good, good, good. All right, we just need to shut up shop, really. I maybe should have even gone five at the back, to be honest. Like, we genuinely need to park the bus. After conceding seven against Spurs, we just cannot have that sort of embarrassment again. We really cannot. And that's 1-0. It's just, uh, like, uh, honestly pretty unstoppable. <laughs> Erling Haaland is inevitable. He is absolutely inevitable. He goes over, he celebrates with the Man City crowd. And truly unfortunate. There's just nothing we can do about that one, really. I said I wanted to shut up shop. And we haven't done that. We haven't done that. Six minutes in, Manchester City take the lead. Erling Haaland is absolutely loving it here. Brilliant. Go on, Beto. Go on, Beto. 
Beto finds Jack Harrison. Harrison goes for the shot, but it's blocked. Oh, we were in there, you know. I was very close to being... Uh... Oh, well done, Tyler Adams. Well done. Fortunately, couldn't win it. Got a bit unlucky there, son, but well done. That's what we'd like to see, that kind of grit and determination there. Oh, how's he done me like that? How's he done me like that? Julian Alvarez makes it 2-0 to Man City. That is unfortunate. That is genuinely unfortunate. He just... Howland just absolutely did me. He just absolutely did me in there. Like, look at this. I, I went in for the tackle. And he just... He just shielded it and wrapped his foot. Oh, that's so disgustingly good for Man City. And it's a brilliant finish from Alvarez as well. And Pickford can hardly believe it. It's 2-0 Man City 22 minutes in. And things are looking really bad all of a sudden. God's sake, I've been trying my best here, guys, but Man City are just too good. I hope this isn't going to be another 7-1 situation. Beto has a chance here. Beto, what a goal! Come on! Brilliant! Ducori and Beto link up. All right, back to the corner, uh, back to the halfway line. But it was really nice, actually. It was a good turn from Beto and a lovely finish on his left peg here. Lovely finish on his left foot. Brilliantly done from Beto. Well done, Willie. Well done, Willie G. Go on. Ducore here. Absolutely powerhousing in. But there's just nowhere to go. Ran out of room. I ran out of ideas, too. I didn't know what the hell to do there. But if we can get to halftime 2-1, I'll take that all day long. We're still in this thing. Oh, my God, Hakimi. Oh, no. Thank God for Holland having a shot there, because otherwise we were in big trouble. Big, big trouble. All right. Just need to get to halftime at 2-1, like I said. Oh, what is that? You just cannot be doing that right before halftime against Man City. Well done, Garner! Well done, Garner. Brilliant stuff from him. Harrison. Back to Harrison. Come on. Last chance saloon here. You never know. Nope. All right. That's going to be halftime 2-1. We'll take it, as I said. We have more live action from the Premier League. Oh no, what have you done, Tark? Oh, what a tackle! What a disgustingly good tackle from Patterson, man. Brilliant. Brantwaite's going to get a yellow for something that happened about 20 minutes ago, I'm pretty sure. That was a long time ago, that tackle. That was so long ago. What a tackle it was, too. Jared, you beast. Have him, Nathan. Have him! Fucking hell. Oh my god, that was close. Hold on, Pickford. Good save in the end, I think. Good Lord Almighty, that was scary. Short here. Oh no. Well on, Tark. Well on. Now sending us in. Oh, what a save from Pickford. Keep that in, Jared. Oh, Jesus. How did that go back that way? What an unbelievable tackle. Oh, my God. The defending of dreams there. What a tackle by Branthwaite, I think it was. And an unbelievable block after that from someone. I don't even know what went on there, but that was chaos. Calvert Lewin. Deli Alley! Oh, it's wide! That would have been an unbelievable equaliser there. All right. Would have been unbelievable, man. Oh, good save, Pickers. Probably too late now, though, unfortunately. We're not going to be able to go up the other end and score within two minutes. Come on, go, go, go. Make a fucking run! Oh, my God. Yeah, that's exactly what I meant to do. All right. 2-1. All right. We lost, but but the honest, like, that was a brilliant fight. I'm proud of how the team performed there. I'm proud of us. All right, I'm proud of the team, man. All right, let's have a look at the performance, because I keep forgetting to do that. I see like we deserve better than this. All well, these match rating. Better was a 7.1. Brantweight 6.4 my ass. The yellow card must have taken him down because he really did quite well, I thought. But the ratings are quite harsh in this game, I feel like. Like 5.9 for Harrison. Like, Jesus, these ratings are criminal. All right, post-match interview. Let's do it. Let's keep the, keeping the morale high is important, I think. This isn't the time to panic, boys. It's only six games, you know? Everton have gone longer than that. All right. Pretty important game against Palace here. I'll tell you that much. All right, Palace at home. This is a big one. Bubaka Kamara, scout report 81. Yanult is a 77. 81. Ooh, he's impressive, eh? 
All right, Palace at home. This is, a, as I said, a big one. Michaelenko transfer offer. They are willing to offer Sergio Ramos and 2.65 million. Who the hell is Sergio Ramos? That's not the Sergio Ramos, is it? <laughs> 37 years old. Holy shit, that actually is Sergio Ramos that they're offering me. <laughs> I mean... <laughs> He's probably going to retire right uh, before I even get him, though. I'm going to have to reject that, guys. But what an offer that is. <laughs> I would love to have Ramos in there. Oh, my God. That's hilarious. That is hilarious. But no, I'm going to have to reject that. Thank you for the offer, Sevilla. That's incredible. That is genuinely incredible. So I was like, I swear he does play for Sevilla right now. But yeah, I think that actually is him. I'm just surprised they don't have a picture for him. All right. I'll think about it, Delhi. Delhi wants to play this game against uh, against Crystal Palace. All right, Delhi Ali's going in. Delhi Ali is going in. So is Dom, though. I'm going to start Dom Dominic Albert Luna as well. Um. Anyway, we'll go with this team here: Pickford, Patterson, Tarkovsky, Branthwaite, Michaelenko, uh, Garner, Nana, Harrison, Ganonto, Ali, and Calvert Lewin. That's the team we're going to go with. All right. So I'll put Alvedi alongside Tarkovsky because I want Alvedi to get a game, and he doesn't seem to be too happy, or as Jan Jared is quite happy. All right, we'll go with this team here. Do those kits look a little similar? Oh, ref, come on. Yellow card, surely, right off the rip. Yellow card. I wonder if they fixed Deli Ali's hair. No, they have not. Of course, that would not be a priority for them. Brilliant. Is he onside? Oh, why'd you move ahead of it, Tom? I was right at you, pal. It's just like almost like I couldn't switch to Dom or something. That was weird. All right, all good, though. Come on, we need a win. We haven't got a win in so long now in the Premier League. Yes, Dom! Oh, I just had nowhere to go. Go on, Dom! Yes, you do! He has somewhere to go, all right. He can just beat them on pace alone. Dominic Calvert-Lewin goes for... Yes! What a goal! Dominic Calvert-Lewin puts Everton ahead against C Crystal Palace. They're without a win in six, but they're ahead at Goodison. Come on, baby! What an inter... Dom actually tackled him, ran the whole pitch there beautifully. Joaquim Anderson couldn't get across. And Dominic Calvert-Lewin buries it past... I, that looks like Dean Henderson. I think it is Dean Henderson. Buries it past Dean Henderson. Get in there, son. Seven goals in 22 matches for Dominic Calvert-Lewin. I must look at the stats after this game. I made the decision to start him over Bet, though, and it was a good one. Ganonto. Ganonto finds Michaelenko. Steaming down there on the overlap. Finds it back to Willy Ganonto. Ganonto goes past one. Willy Ganonto goes for it, but there was just no power on the shot, really. Brilliant from Ganonto. Ganonto. Oh, come on, Dom. Why are you making these weird movements right when you're about to be in, man? Twice now. Twice. Brilliant. Calvert Lewin back to Michaelenko. Back to Calvert Lewin. Dom's in! Oh, what a save. What a save by Henderson. Oh, could have been 2-0 before the break here. Here's Willie G. Look at that. Look at that from Willie G. Have him. Take him on. Take him on again. Look at him go. Oh, he nearly put through Dom as well. Oh, what a start to the second half here, boys. Oh, no. Ah, fucking near post shots again, man. That one was a little more realistic, but come on. Ah, uh, I knew it. The second I, that's why I tried to slide in there. I brought, I brought Tarkovsky out and it was a mistake. Tried to get across with Alvedi, but it was too late. Dom! Oh, saved! That was a huge opportunity there. Bet though for Dom, not yet, not yet. Win that, Onana, come on. Yes. Deli Ali. Look at Deli Ali, that was beautiful. Oh, that's just one of the worst balls of all time. Why did I have to speak? Onana finds Harrison. Onana. Garner at the bar, edge of the box. Oh, it's the post. No. What an effort. What an effort, man. I thought that was going in for a second. I, ha I think Henderson probably had it covered anyway, but wow. Close to being the winner there. Or potentially the winner anyway. Yes! Is he onside? No. No, no, no. No. Oh, look at that. It's so close. It's so close. No. 
That is heartbreaking. That is genuinely heartbreaking, man. It's so close. Oh, I thought that was going bottom corner. What an effort from Deli Ali. What a run. And very nearly the finish on the end of it. What the hell was Harrison's AI doing there? Oh my God. I thought they were going to be scoring the 96th minute. Why was the game still going? It was in the middle of the park. Blow it up, ref. Jesus. All right. God damn it. A draw, unfortunately. And we go winless. The winless streak continues, unfortunately, for us. But this is the way. Performance-wise, it was an okay performance. I feel like calvert Luma was the man of the match. Yeah, see, I'm not even having people above a seven here. Like, come on. Oh, I just need a win. I need a win. I know we had that win in the FA Cup, but, like, we need a bloody win in the league here. We're down to 14th now and drag back down into the relegation fight here. Uh, Deli, you did well, but keep your feet in the ground, son. All right, Brighton and Hove Albion. We can't overtake them if we beat them. But yeah, we're down near the bottom now. We're only six points out of 16th. So we're not out of the relegation fight completely yet. I think I'm going to go back to the 4-4-2 for this match. Yes, I fucking know. If they tell me this message one more time, like, what do I do? How do I stop this me message coming through? I already know. They tell me every single time. Oh shit, Ireland offered me a job. I didn't even realize. Ah, oh, I'm an idiot. I just don't pay much attention to that. <laughs> shit, I'm a fool. All right, Brighton and Hove Albion away from home. Another 5-1 here. That'll be the job, all right? 4-4-2 four, four, holding. Ducore's coming out. Calvert-Lewin's going in, and this is going to be the team. I'm going to do Elvedi and Branthwaite together. None of the team is happy because our form is shit at the moment. That's probably why. I think I'll start Ginanto on the right, actually, because I feel like Ginanto, um was really good when I started him on the right that, that few times. And we'll leave Harrison on the bench for this game, and we'll go with that. Oh, wow. Wow. How did that get over Brantwaite's head? How did that get over Brantwaite's head? And Matoma scores for Brighton. Guys, come on. Like, can I get a win? Like, I'm playing decent. I'm just like... the vet, what? That's the second time today where they've scored with their very first attack, my opposition. Two games in a row. Well, no, it was the Man City game, sorry. But, like, come on. How do I get caught out at the start so easily? Because shit passes like that. And again, the exact same fucking pass, dude. Like, you just got to be smarter. Brilliant from Garner. Why did you... See, this is the shit with the running. Dom, you're a striker. Why did you drop back when I got the ball there? If you had kept running, we were in. We were genuinely in one-on-one. -on -one. I don't understand the, the, the shit that the strikers do sometimes when you're on the counter. Like, he's, he's dropped back. That's offside, surely. I mean, come on. Guys, please. Just don't understand it sometimes, the game, man. Dom does so well! Oh, it's a good block. Oh, it was a beautiful turn, but they just kind of sandwiched me a little bit, unfortunately. Thought we were going to be in for a second. All right, halftime, 1-0 Brighton. Not ideal, guys. Not ideal at all. As well. McNeil. Everton moving the ball forward with purpose. Brilliant. Brilliant! Come on! Get in there! Brilliant play! Get in! 1-1. One, one. I want to win this game, though. I don't even care. Go back to the halfway line. Let's do this thing. Like, look at this. Brilliant pass from Dom. Nice little touch on from Beto. And it was great from McNeil as well, to be fair. Get in! 1-0. One, 1-1, one, one, rather. Back on level terms, baby. Come on! No. Oh, my God. Get it out. Jesus Lord, we're haunted. Racing forward, trying to catch them out. Go, McNeil. Go on. Can they keep it going? Yes, lad. Go on, McNeil. Beto, yes! Come on! Beto's turned the game on its head with his head! Come on, baby! Beto makes it 2 1 to the Toffees. It's a brilliant counter attack. He started the move with a brilliant pass to McNeil, and he finishes the move with a brilliant header, and Everton lead the way. Come on. Well done, McNeil. Well done, Beto. Everton lead the way. 2-1 now. And they've turned the game on its head. 
Ansu Fati coming on. Oh god, I'm scared of him. Should I go a little more defensive now? I'm almost tempted. Alright, next time the ball goes out of play, if it's still 2-1, I'm going to go a little more defensive. Bring on an extra center back. Estupinian is fast, isn't he? He'd be, he could be a good replacement for Michael Enko, actually, you know. Estupinian, if Michael Enko still wants to leave next transfer window. Well done, McNeil. Look at McNeil go today. He's been brilliant. And look at that. Go on, Michael. Michaelenko, Beto, who's on a hat trick. Garner, Onana. Onana! <laughs> I thought that was going top bins, boys. I did. All right, defensive. Let's go. Beto, you did your job well, son. I'm going to bring on Harrison for Gananto as well and swap Harrison and McNeil. And we'll go with this team here, I think. I'll also bring on Ducore for Garner. Fuck it. Fresh legs in the middle. Let's go. Come on. This is perfect now. A shut up shop here. The only problem is if we... <laughs> I suppose I could bring on Dobbin for Mike Galenko or something or... Yeah, I don't know. We don't... Like, if, if, if they equalize, we don't really have a formation to go back to now. But we're kind of banking on them not equalizing. That's the goal. Oh, no. Addison's been done in. Oh, what a block. What a block by Branthwaite. What a block by Branthwaite. That could have immediately turned on us there. No way. Fuck off. I don't believe it. I genuinely do not believe it. Immediately after I go to five at the back, they score from a corner. What a save from Pickford. And how the hell does that happen, Mike? Come on, man. Jesus Christ. I'm just not destined to win today. I really am not. Imagine that. Imagine that. I mean, I, uh, that is just a managerial blunder there. I have to admit it. You know? Win that, McNeil. Go. Just go, McNeil. Go, Dwight. You're all alone, lad. He's out of fucking stamina, you know. Yes! Oh, yes! Deli Alley has done it in the last minute of the game. Come on. Get in. What a winner. Oh, <laughs> Last kick of the game. The Brighton players are on the floor. Deli Ali isn't. He knows what that means for Everton. Tyler Adams finds Deli Ali, and that is a brilliant goal. Come on. Deli Ali was only just on the pitch. From a managerial blunder to a managerial masterclass. Deli Ali wins it for the Toffees. Come on. His third goal of the season wins it in the 90th. Honestly, that was the last kick of the game. It really was. The 94th minute of the game, Deli Ali wins it for us. My God, you can hardly believe it. You can hardly believe it. Deli Ali is a king. Come on, baby. That's exactly what we needed right there. Our first win in a long time. Gomez, or sorry, Beto is the man of the match. Um, but everyone was good there McNeil was an 8 Tyler Adams was good Deli Ali was good and he was only on the pitch for a few minutes uh, Dominic Calvert-Lewin Onana no no one else was above a 7 which is quite surprising but we'll take that boys absolutely mega win mega we needed it we haven't won the Premier League in 6 games and you know it's just a necessary win right there yes I mean he was absolutely brilliant he capped a good, a good team display, did Beto. Well done, Beto. Sometimes you just have to be patient right until the very death of the game. No more and we were. Thank you. But thank you. Absolutely brilliant. Magic stuff. We've got Villa away in the cup next. Oh, FA Cup round five. Here we go. Come on. All right. Let's see. Chain. Yeah, 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 yeah. Fuck off with that shit. I'm sick of those emails. I'm sick of those goddamn emails. Uh, John transfer talks and I don't really care. I got to be completely honest with you. Go to Norway then. Set up a scouting scouting thing in Norway, all right? 
All right, guys, that's where we're going to end the video. We'll be back to do the FA Cup fifth round in the next video. Um, what an, a magical win to finish there on. But let's have a look at the stats really quickly before we go as well. But absolutely magic. Another 3-2 win as well, just like we had against Fulham. Um, but let's have a look at the squad, have a look at the stats and see who's, uh, who's contributing most at the moment. I think Beto is going to be our top scorer, no doubt. He has 14 goals for Beto, three assists. Dominic Calvert-Lewin, nearly into double digits as well. Deli Ali has six goals. Ganonto, four. Harrison, two. Um, Garner, one. Uh, everyone else. Yeah, there's like four people with one then. Ducore, Dobbin, McNeil, and Garner. And then assists-wise, um, we have Ganonto with five assists. Willie Ganonto, look at that. Nine goal contributions. Go on, son. McNeil, four assists. Godfrey, four assists. Harrison, three. Beto, three. Ali, three. Uh, Patterson 2, Garner 2, Onana 2, Ducore 2, Calvert-Lewin 2, Dobbin 2. Um, now, I must say, I'm going to just remove you. Okay, so he's still on the transfer list. He still wants to move, which I'm surprised at. I'm surprised at Mike Jelenko, i got to be honest with you. Uh, but yeah, like I'm surprised that we don't have more goal scorers, like Tarkovsky hasn't scored a few or something like that, from corners especially. But anyway, thank you guys for watching. Really appreciate it. I'll see you next time. It's been my pleasure to serve you all. Peace out.